Danny boy The pipes, the pipes are my, my first love was kind of everything. And over the course of the undergrad, I found myself gravitating more and more towards music. But my grandmother started to get ill after I moved home to Baltimore. And more and more I was spending my time looking after her. And I just started to see kind of a different side of myself come out. It was a part of me that felt that a life of service to people that are ill is fulfilling in a way I didn't find fulfilling in being a musician. You know, growing up, the, the child of a couple of physicians always kind of um, puts that career on the landscape. And I saw what a difference it made to have a good doctor, and I wanted to do that. I thought I could do that. Just about a week or two before school began first year, um, my mom had a spinal surgery, which didn't go quite well, and led to a um, protracted, prolonged hospital stay. And when someone's in the hospital for five months, you really see the gamut of almost anything that can occur in terms of hospital care. I think the recurring theme that I noticed again and again and again is how everything went smoother when her attending physician, her consultants, her nurses, her, the social worker, the case manager, were all on the same page and all knew what was going on. That inspired me to try to um, develop new ways of teaching doctors, develop new ways of thinking about care. So I just went and talked to Dr. Peter Peronovos, who's the internationally known expert on patient safety. The idea was really simple, just come up with a course for medical students where we spend the day working as nurses in acute care settings, social workers, physical therapists, pharmacists. The idea being that once you've walked a mile in somebody's shoes, you know a lot more about what they bring, how to work with them. And, you know, within a few weeks, I think we were starting to lay the groundwork for the first course offering, which just happened a couple months later. So when I was looking at medical schools, I definitely cast a wide net. And though Hopkins was where I wanted to be, when I got a full ride off there somewhere else, I, I felt like it would be almost financially irresponsible for me not to take it. And then Hopkins ended up coming through with a partial scholarship and that pretty much sealed the deal. Um, of course, I couldn't have known at the time that deciding to be close to my family would end up being so um, precipitously important. My mom passed away during, at the end of my first year. Um, I don't think that it's possible to really express how thankful one can be for being present during your mother's final months. I think it's changed everything in terms of how I view medicine and how well I've been able to cope with her loss. And I think what's great about Hopkins is not being afraid to try some new things, new approaches. You know, there's a lot of different ways to be a doctor. And I think ultimately you're a good doctor if you're a good communicator. If you can build the bridges and make connections to folks, um, you'll do well. <laughs>